Welcome back to Saturday Night Sit Down where we talk about love, marriage, money and everything in between. I'm your host, Tammy Pinock. On today's episode, I want to talk about feminine hygiene tips. You know, as ladies, some of us, we most of us, we know how to take care of ourselves, but there are so many ladies out there that still don't know how to look after their body. And sometimes you wonder why, you know, uh, the minute you strip uh, naked your husband or your boyfriend or your partner, you find out that they are completely turned off because there is a lot of, you know, smell that is coming from different areas. So I've got some tips for you uh, on how you can look after your body properly. So I want to do like from an head to toe assessment on how we can, you know, look after our body. So uh, let's start with our hair. You know, like for those of us that are wearing extension, you know, both the whites and the blacks do wear extension, but mostly it's, uh, you know, people from African background that rely more on air extension. So for those of you that are wearing extensions, you know, you need to wash your hair regularly maybe at least once a week wash your hair regularly because believe it or not once you fixed your hair and it's been there for you know a, a couple of weeks it stinks yes it does stinks because sometimes you can actually smell your hair yourself you can imagine you know you and a guy or you and your husband trying to you know get down and then you 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 put your your head close to their nose the next thing that will hit them is the smell from your hair it, it, it's a big turn off for men you know it's a turn off for men and also you know maybe your you know your husband went to work your partner went to work or your boyfriend went to work they've just come back and you you just want to welcome them with a nice big hug and you know when you hug your husband the first thing you do is hug and you put your head next to their shoulders and when that your stinking wig is like, your head is lying next to their shoulders the, the only thing they can smell is your stinking wig or you're stinking with one rather so you need to take care of your hair don't be carrying you know you if you're fixing it if you do you know if you're the type that fix you know actually fix your the extension you need to change it regularly don't carry an extension on your head for one month two months some people can even carry one extension on their head for three months without a drop of water you know going on their head that is a turn off it's a no-no so wash your hair regularly for me what i do or what i found out that works best is wearing wigs because the wigs you can take them off at night you can wash your hair so you can actually wash your hair your your natural hair you can wash them two or three times weekly and then the, your wig as well you can wash it every week and then you keep your your hair your natural hair smelling nice and your wig smelling nice so for people that you know you 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 know you because of budget you want to you don't want to spend more um, i know fixing hair is very expensive and you don't want to spend too much money on your hair changing it regularly i suggest like you you swap for using wigs because then you have the option of washing your hair regularly and washing your wig regularly so we've talked about the hair now let's move to the next one we're going to be talking about our mouths as humans generally our mouth is a very very you know important part of our body now we use our mouth for a lot we use our mouth for a lot of things it is very very important that as ladies that we you know we take good care of our mouth so we all know that normally it's advised that you you know you brush you know you brush your mouth uh 
twice a day you brush in the morning first thing and then you brush last thing you know before you go to bed so that all the whatever that the, the particles the food that you've eaten in the mouth can you wash them all out and also you can use things also like mouthwash you know to help you you know freshen up your breath and when you're out and about in the community you can use you know things like you know uh, mints or you know um, like minty chewing gum to freshen your breath especially when you you know you're standing close to someone and you're speaking very close to someone if you if you've got bad breath uh, uh, you know and you stand close to someone they can easily smell it so it's best to you know have a bit of mint have some minty chewing gum in your bag have it handy so when you're out you know you've left the house in the morning you're spending hours out at work from time to time just put a bit of mint in your mouth and that will help you you know freshen your breath and also it's very important that we visit our dentist regularly it is very important i know some people think oh dentist oh my mouth is fine no it's important that you visit your dentist regularly because there could be some you know things going going on in your mouth that just brushing will not resolve so it's best for you to visit your dentist regularly for so you know regular checkup so they you know that everything in your mouth is fine because our mouth is very important as as every other part of our body so we need to take a very good care of our mouth now you know you know some people say okay yes i'm doing all of that i, I brush my teeth twice a day i use a mouthwash i do everything that i'm supposed to do but i still have bad breath there are cases like that that you do everything you know you're doing everything the right way but you still find out that you have bad breath i'm i'm, I'm really t uh, talking about this topic because i also used to suffer from bad from bad breath even though that i brushed uh, brush my mouth, you know, regularly. I'm, I'm, I was obsessed with brushing my mouth. Sometimes I could brush in a day, I could brush my mouth four or five times in a day, but still, I could still, you know, I was still suffering from bad breath. And uh, even then, I've, I went to the gym, uh, to the dentist, dentist did all their check, and I didn't have my mouth was fine, but I still had bad breath. So, what are the causes of bad breath? So when you've tried everything else and you still uh, find out that you have bad breath, there could be some other issues that is making you uh, have bad breath. So what are the causes of halitosis? As halitosis is simply known as bad breath. Uh, one of the things that could cause bad breath is when you eat, you know, when you eat a lot of strong, spicy food, when you eat a lot of strong and spicy food that can cause bad breath but that's something that you can easily resolve by just brushing after you eat or you know have a mint after you eat that can resolve the problem another thing that can cause bad breath is when you you have you know uh, gum disease uh, the easiest sign for you to know that you have gum disease is when you have bleeding gum so when your gums are bleeding that is the first sign you know that's like basically the first sign to say to let you know that you have gum disease because when you have gum disease it gives you bad breath because sometimes you can actually you know when you have bleeding gum you could taste you know the taste of blood in your mouth and when that taste of blood is in your mouth for a while when your gums are bleeding that it's a it's a really nasty smell your mouth will be stinking like ah, it's disgusting so yeah, so gum disease can lead to bad breath. So when you start having, you know, have, have realizing that your your gums are bleeding, then you need to do something about it. See your dentist and, you know, get that resolved because that can cause, you know, bad breath. And uh, another thing that can cause bad breath is when you have, you know, you have holes in your teeth. When you have holes in your teeth or you have mouth infection that can cause bad breath because you know when you have holes in your teeth and you eat something some of those food that you've eaten get trapped in the holes in your teeth and if when you brush if you don't brush them out properly you know those food that are stuck in your teeth on in, in your teeth will they will decay and once they decay they start stinking so you can even brush but when those food is trapped in there it will be stinking really, really badly. Apart from the obvious, you know, uh, gum disease, mouth infection, holes in your teeth, there are other, you know, medical conditions 
that can cause some bad breath and this is why it's very important for us to you know get to know your body understand your body and when you feel that something is not right because you're doing everything necessary you're doing everything that you're supposed to do but you still feel that something is not right then it's time to seek you know medical help because there are some medical condition that causes bad breath such as tonsillitis or acid reflux can cause bad breath acid reflux occurs when the sphincter muscles at the lower end of your esophagus relaxes at the wrong time allowing you know stomach acid to back up into your esophagus that can cause really stinking like really stinking breath if you suffer from uh, acid reflux like i used to suffer from acid reflux as well so if you suffer from acid reflux uh, the things that you've eaten into your stomach and that you know our stomach is uh, uh, acidic and all the acid from your stomach comes back up you know everything is supposed to when you eat it's supposed to go right down but for people that suffer from acid reflux the acid in the stomach comes right back up into your esophagus and causes bad breath and with that no matter how much you brush your breath will still stink because the problem is not here but the problem is here. So there's something in your stomach that is coming back up into your esophagus that is causing bad breath. So no matter how much you brush your teeth, you will still smell. So that's why I said as ladies, you need to study your body and seek medical help where possible to resolve the issue. Now, there's another medical condition that can cause bad breath. And this most people do not know about this. It is called Alicobacter pylori simply known as h pylori h pylori is a stomach bacteria that causes bad breath you can have h pylori for years and years without even feeling any symptoms and if it goes untreated it can go on to cause you know uh, stomach ulcers so h pylori is something that also you know causes very very bad breath and this can easily be treated with uh anti Biotic. So if you like you've done all the necessary you still find out your breath still stinks seriously It's time to see your doctor see your GP get all the tests done And if that is the case, they will treat you with a course of antibiotics Like I said, I used to suffer from bad breath. I brush my teeth properly still nothing. I've been to dentist They can't find anything here and they uh, uh, asked me to go see my doctor so i went and saw my gp and they did some tests and they found out that i had uh, a stomach bacteria called h pylori and i was put on a, a one week antibiotics and trust me guys after the treatment after the course of my antibiotics the bad breath just stopped it just stopped and this is something that i suffered you know for a long time when i go out i'm always when i'm out i'm always conscious of when i'm speaking to people i'm always having chewing gum in my mouth just you know because it's very embarrassing when you when you when you know that your breath stinks it's it's very embarrassing and so luckily for me i was able to you know uh seek help and i was able to it was resolved and my breath now it's back to normal so if uh, if you're having bad breath and you think you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing and the, your breath still stinks please see your uh, gp or your doctor so that they can do some tests and see if you have if you suffer from acid reflux or h pylori now apart from all those there are other medical conditions that can still cause bad breath uh, such as diabetes so people that has diabetes tend to suffer from bad breath and also uh liver and kidney issues as well can also cause bad breath as well as you know some setting blood disorder can all cause bad breath so now we've, we've we finished with the mouth you know it's a bit intense because the mouth you we have a lot of issues with our mouth if we don't look after it properly so let's go to the next which is our Ampit. You know, ampit as well is a very sensitive part and as women we should be able to take care or look after our ampit properly you know most women they carry a lot of air in their ampit and most men don't like it because when you sweat you know it gets all sticky and all disgusting so try and shave if you have air under your arm shave them shave them all off and if you're somebody that you know i know some people are not comfortable with, uh, with you know their armpit just being completely bare you can shave it like almost all off but just 
minimum you know like when your hair is growing right back shave it all down it's it's more you know uh, when a man looks on your uh, under your arm or when a man tries to feel you know when you're in the midst of you know you're doing your uh, all lovely 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 stuff and then a man puts hand ah, under your arm he doesn't want to touch all night uh, all disgusting uh, uh you know armpit air and sweat and all of that so it's it's better to keep that uh area of our body nice and neat and now the most sensitive part of a woman's body that you need to look after properly it's your private region you know i know some people will think oh we all know that already but a lot of people don't know your private region needs to be looked after properly private part is very important it's a very important part uh, you know that we as women least needs to concentrate on and look after properly uh change your knickers daily and if even possible you can change your knickers twice a day and you know some people tend to wear uh, really tight knickers when you wear really tight knickers it's really not good for your private region because you need to wear you know you need a bit of air around that area so and also when you wear cotton uh, knickers as uh, uh, instead of uh, you know satin knickers is best because with cotton knickers you know you can get air uh, your that area can breathe properly but when you wear satin it's all sticky it's all sweaty you put satin knickers in there you wear your night uh, very tight skinny jeans that area is all tight and sweaty and once you take your trouser off sometimes for some ladies the smell that comes out of red is crazy so it's a very important part that we need to look after so like i said wear things like cotton pants uh, instead of uh you know satin pants and also when you're sleeping at night try to let give it a let it breathe if you're at home you're home feel free if you're with your husband or your partner feel free go to bed naked let that region feel some fresh air <laughs> let the region feel some fresh air you will feel better in the morning the smell will be nice you know and also when you you know as a woman when you're under your period you need to you need to take care of that area properly you should shower twice a day wash it nicely and you know when you even go to use the toilet you know for me i always carry like baby wipes it's baby wipes are the lifesavers i carry baby wipes around so when you go to the toilet you know when you're out in the public you use a public toilet you pee just give it a nice fresh wipe wipe it off and it smells very nicely just it's like you have to give your private part tlc you have to give your private part tlc it is very important that we look after our private parts you know sometimes you find out that uh, some men will when you your husband it might be your husband might be, your, might be your boyfriend before you have sex you find out that they tell you oh you can take a shower they will say it nicely take a shower that's a clue if they're telling you to take a shower every single time before you have sex it's a clue that your private region stinks that's just the truth if they tell you if your husband or your partner or your boyfriend tells you every single time to go take a shower just before you have sex that means you're down below it's stinking and they can't stand the smell that's one clue and another clue to know that your down region is stinking is when every time after you have sex your your partner your husband or your boyfriend will get you know uh air freshener <laughs> and you know start freshening up the air that's a clue that your down region stinks and another clue is that every time after sex if your partner runs quickly into the bathroom to wash immediately every time it's a clue that your down region stinks so it's very important that you uh look after your private part if you're a, a sort of person you know you 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 clean yourself properly you you change your knickers properly because there are some girls even now they still wear a, a, a one knickers uh, two days it's disgusting but it happens so if you're that sort of person that you do all the necessary thing to look after your damn region and there's still a lot of uh smell you know fishy disgusting smell still coming out of there then you need to see your gp you might just have some you know infection that is causing your private parts to stink so see your gp and let uh let them do uh do some tests 
and get you treated because just washing it will not uh if you if you have some infection down there just normal washing with uh, cleaning up and washing with soap regularly will not stop it from smelling so get uh, see your gp and get get your private part checked out if it is smelling and you can have a good conversation with your husband especially if you're married you know if you're married there's no need to be shy you can ask your partner i hope do i smell down there does my mouth smell have the conversation there's nothing wrong in talking if your partner loves you so much then yeah you should be able and they should be they should be honest you know with you as well if you smell because if you smell then it's best for you to you know seek for uh, uh treatment because then it's better for you both of you when you're having sex you enjoy it it's not that he's having sex and it's it's holding his breath so <laughs> some guys will actually you know whilst they are doing it they hold their breath and sometimes you see that some women your husband is always running out doesn't want to have sex with you at all you don't know it's, it's very you know uh you know uh, active man when it comes to sex but he doesn't want to have sex with you he's going out there to with, uh, to have it with other women while some don't want to have sex with you but they're they are masturbating in the house then you know there's there's something wrong with your with your private parts you need to check it out okay check it out you don't want to uh, push your husband out because you know your private part is smelling or your mouth is smelling or your armpit is smelling or your wig or your hair is stinking you don't want to push your husband out so uh and final area that i want us to look at talk about is our back passage your anus it's a place that you need to look after properly some women don't know how to wipe their bum they are like children they don't know how to wipe their bum you have to look after your anus your back passage properly because and another thing about a private part another thing that can cause infection is you know when you pee after you pee as a woman some women will just wipe it upwards that is the wrong way to clean your private part when you pee after peeing you need to wipe your private part downwards so down wipe it down downwards because when you wipe it upwards for those women that don't know how to wipe their bum properly you wipe your, your uh, you know you, you're wiping feces from your bum leftover feces from your bum into your private part and that can cause infection and that can lead to uh, that can lead to you know smelly private parts so after uh, uh, having uh, after peeing wipe downwards and not upwards okay and for your back passage clean it properly wipe it nicely like i said with me i carry a, a pack of baby wipe in my bag when i'm going out so for whatever reason you never know you're out and before you know it your belly is doing like i need to come out so then your belly you know you get to that when you're when, when it wants to come out there's nothing you can do so sometimes you're forced to use a you know a public toilet so and even at home as well when you've you know open your bowels and you've wiped yourself with uh, a tissue paper use a baby wipe as well to clean it properly it just keeps that area nice and clean and also uh for your your private part as well it's it's best to keep that area neat you know shave all those air out because when you have like a forest down below <laughs> when you have a forest down below and you you open your bowels like i said and you're wiping upwards those your uh, uh private airs can trap you know feces and that can cause infection down there and that can lead to you know stinking private parts so keep it all nice keep that forest all you know deforest that area Good. cut it all off cut it all off make it plain like a baby it's better for you okay and okay back to uh, back passage so when you've opened your bowels wipe it with a nice after cleaning with tissue paper wipe it with a nice baby wipe give it a nice fresh you know wipe it's clean and it's smelling nice and you know what guys there's nothing wrong with the old-fashioned way of using water it is the best use water wash it nicely when you're home wash it nicely with water and then pat it dry with tissue paper or toilet uh, pat it dry with toilet uh, toilet paper that place will be nice, will be smelling, and your private region will thank you for it, for looking after it properly. And your husband or your partner or your boyfriend will thank you for it because that area is all nice 
and smelling good well before we finish guys if you're new to my channel you are very very welcome and those of you that keeps coming every time every saturday i do really appreciate you guys thank you for tuning in every saturday please if you like my content don't forget to hit the like button when you hit the like button you just help me to promote my channel and for those of you that hasn't subscribed please consider subscribing so that you'll be the first to get a notification whenever I upload a new video anyway so yes that's it from me guys uh, as ladies we need to look after ourselves we need to smell nice for our husband and just a, a, a quick one as well a, a, some, just say something briefly as well you know for your armpit invest in good you know deodorant or roll-on use a nice roll-on or use a, use a nice deodorant for your armpit it keeps it all nice and fresh and smelling nice for your husband or your partner and also invest in good perfumes you know there are some don't, don't, don't bother buying cheap perfume it, it doesn't work it just makes you stink it smells worse than uh, it's better than your your natural body smell is better than cheap perfumes invest your money in uh, really good perfumes because and they last really long you can buy a perfume of maybe 40 50 pounds and you can use that perfume for six months sometimes more so invest rather than buying a cheap perfume that will make you smell even some some there are some perfume you you smell like like a rotten fish so invest in a good perfume and you smell nice for your husband you smell nice for your partner good deodorant as well and you know like I said, study your body because there are some people, deodorant is not best for them, uh, but they feel roll-on is better. For me, when I use deodorant, I tend to sweat a lot. So I opt for, I use roll-on. That keeps my armpit nice, smelling fresh, and keeps the sweat down for me. So try out different things until you find, until you find the one that best suits your body. So invest in good perfumes, look after your body, look after your hair, look after your, your mouth, look after your armpit, look after your private part, and then finally look after your back passage as a woman. Okay. Even when you're not going out, your, your home and your husband is out or your partner, your boyfriend is out before they come back, have a nice shower, you know put a nice roll on or deodorant in your armpit spray a nice perfume and when you hug them oh the minute you hug them it's a signal they just want to like woohoo <laughs> you know they want to get down to business quickly because you're smelling nice you know it turns them on anyway guys that's it from me today just thought i should share you know these quick tips to help ladies out there that's it from me guys if you like my content please do not forget to give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed when you subscribe you'll be the first to get a notification whenever I upload a new video so thank you once more for you know taking your time spending your time with me today i really do appreciate it that's it from me guys the next week saturday i remain your host tammy pinnock bye now bye